guys! If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, what's up? And this is not an original idea. By the way, I saw Tyler Oakley make a video on this and I thought it was really cool and I think everyone should know about it. I'm like joining the tag. So as Tyler pointed out, a lot of people after this recent election have kind of like tapped out of politics like no one wants to deal with it everyone's really just exhausted and they're like okay let's just wait till the next election but here's the thing there is still very relevant issues that need to be addressed and there's ways that we can stay involved without just like posting a status on Facebook I mean I'm very guilty of being that person who like shares everything political but there's also things I can actually do to make a difference so Tyler talked about this website it's called fivecalls.org I'll link it right here and it's basically a website that just makes it very easy and like user friendly for you to call your members of Congress about issues that you feel strongly about and it gives you even like a little script so that you're not uncomfortable with like what to say. So I'm gonna make some calls today and you should too after you watch this video. My camera just died and I had to move it around so that the alignment's off. Sorry. The first call I'm gonna be making is about protecting public school funding and student loan protections. And because the website recognizes my geographic location, I am calling the New York Senator as someone who's in the Bronx. So I'm gonna be calling Chuck Schumer. Shout out to Amy Schumer's dad. I think I'm gonna have to leave a voicemail, but that's fine. Clearly, <laughs> Chuck Schumer is busy, or at least his office is busy. So I'm gonna come back to that one. The next call I'm going to be making is standing up for transgender student rights. This actually links me to Betsy Davos at the Department of Education, everyone's favorite woman. <laughs> Sorry, Hi, my name is Natalie Martinez and I'm a constituent from the Bronx. I'm calling to express my support for transgender student rights in our schools and communities and to ask that the Department of Education reinstate its federal guidance to schools to protect these vulnerable children and teens from discriminatory actions. Thank you for your time and attention. Have a great day. Bye. Simple as that. Right, so next call I'm gonna make is about stopping the use of religious liberty for discrimination. For this, I am supposed to be calling Andrew M. Cuomo um, for the District of New York. So here we go. Let's see if they pick up since Nancy did not want to talk to me. <laughs> Hello, you have reached the office to leave a message sharing your ideas and opinions to help shape New York's future, please press 1. Hi, my name is Natalie Martinez and I'm a constituent from the Bronx. I'm calling to express my concern over anti-LGBTQ laws and other discriminatory legislation written in the name of religious liberty. And I ask that Governor Cuomo uh, veto any such laws. One person's religious beliefs do not give them the right to infringe on the rights of other Americans. So thank you for your time and attention and have a great day. Bye. So easy, even though I stumbled. All right, Chuck, we're coming back to you. Pick up this time. Jesus. Senator Schumer's office. Hi, uh, my name is Natalie Martinez, and I'm a constituent from the Bronx. Um, I'm calling to urge Senator Chuck Schumer to oppose any provision in the Better Care Reconciliation Act, which would harm women by defunding Planned Parenthood, rolling back Medicaid coverage, and allowing insurers to stop covering maternity care services and contraceptive access. Women should um, not face financial penalties and barriers to health care access just because of our gender. Um, that's all. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, have a great day. You too. I talked to somebody. All right. Three down. All right. So next call is going to be about protecting public school funding and student loan protections, and this also links me to Senator Chuck Schumer. Um, so we'll be calling his office again. I maybe should have killed two birds with one stone, but screw it. Let's just make five different calls. Senator Schumer's office can come for me. Hi, um, my name is Natalie Martinez and I'm a constituent from the Bronx. I'm just calling to urge uh, Senator Chuck Schumer to reject the Trump administration's proposed budget cuts to the Education Department. That's all. <laughs> yes, I can absolutely pass the message along. Would you mind if I trouble you here? Sure. Sure.
Okay, thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you, you too. Bye. I talked to another human. I see Betsy Davos has me talking to some machines. Chuck Schumer is, Chuck Schumer knows where it's at. So the last call I'm going to make is about rejecting Trump Care and helping to track the Senate vote tally. And again, I am calling Chuck Schumer's office. If I have been talking to the same guy the last two calls, he's going to think I'm such a freaking weirdo. <laughs> but it's fine, because I'm getting my point across, and that's all that matters. I've done this four times, I don't know why I'm nervous. Senator Schumer's office. Hi, um, my name is Natalie Martinez, and I'm a constituent from the Bronx. I'm calling about the upcoming Senate vote on health care. Does the Senator plan to vote for a plan to repeal the ACA? Yeah, the Senator is going to vote against any plan that attempts to repeal the ACA. Awesome, okay, I appreciate him standing up for health care access and encouraging them to push for a bipartisan effort to strengthen the ACA, so thank you for your time. Absolutely. Can I some code for our record? Sure. Have a nice day. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Don't ask me why I fidget so much when I'm calling people. I'm just getting nervous. It's dope. So I have called five times to make a difference on what I believe in, and hopefully, you know, my opinion is tallied since they asked for my information. At least in the Bronx, my opinion is going to make a difference. I want to call again for my California zip code. That's where my roots are. The point of this video is if I can do it, you can do it. So go ahead and visit fivecalls.org. It's super simple. They literally write out what you're supposed to say for you and that's why their offices are there there so that we can call so that the government can serve the people which is what they're supposed to be doing um all right thanks for listening to me babble and spaz out on the phone bye